From this spot, visitors often mistake the series of cascades on Haystack Creek directly in front of them for Birdwoman Falls. But Birdwoman Falls is actually the 492-foot drop across the valley between Mount Oberlin on the left and Mount Cannon on the right. Notice the broad U-shaped bowl above the waterfall and look down the valley to the right and notice the same broad U-shape. Both features are the results of glaciers. I'm Dan Fagu of the U.S. Geological Survey's Northern Rocky Mountain Science Center. I've been a research ecologist here at Glacier National Park for the past 21 years. Birdwoman Falls is a classic example of a glacially sculpted landscape. Uh, this area has been under a lot of pressure in the last glaciation that ended about 12,000 years ago and lasted for hundreds of thousands of years. And this has allowed the landscape to be molded by the ice through time. The main trunk of the glacier sculpted out the area below Logan Pass and swept down around and actually scooped out Lake McDonald. The side valley there uh, didn't have as much cutting power because the ice in there was not as massive and so it couldn't cut down as fast as the main valley floor and so it lagged behind and therefore when all the ice melted it was suspended and we call that a hanging valley and that's what Birdwoman Falls drains out of.